All right, so I just got the kids working on some stuff right now for the home study. I did just tell my teenager to put some books on his bookshelf to make it look like he reads. So that was not the best moment, but those are the moments that you have as a parent, right, Chad? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. Today we are doing some home study prep. So I have a whole list of to do things I just made out here and we are going to try to accomplish some of them. I already started cleaning yesterday and we got the boys room ready for the home study. That one was the one that was gonna take days to do and luckily we just redid Jenny's room so it's nice and clean and we actually did a huge project and Augustine's room, all of which I did videos on and I'll put those in the link below so you guys can watch them. So if you guys are new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, my hi, my name is Winter. I am a mom of four beautiful children um, that adopted from the foster care system. And then we are working on our fifth adoption to China. So that is why we're doing another home study, even though we've already had home studies in the past, um, we were doing another home study for the China adoption. It has to be separate. Um, yeah, so some things that we're working on on my to-do list today is we need to get the kids' rooms clean, the boys' room is already clean, and then, so we just need to work on Genesis's room and Augustine's room. Come here, buddy. You wanna be a part of the video? Being shy? Okay, whatever. All right. Just kidding. Just kidding. There's Nene. You see? He's so cute. He's such a cuter. This is Nene. Okay. Then we are going to put um, smoke detectors up. Hopefully, if ours work, we're gonna put ours up to save some money so we don't have to buy a new one. We just gotta check it to make sure it works. Um, I need to clean the outside foyer and the back foyer. So those two things in our house, they just get missed a lot, especially since it was winter time and they're not heated rooms in our house. I don't really like going out there. There's Jess's. Hi. Yes. Um, I don't really like going out there because it's super cold and I don't, it's just not fun. So now that it's spring, we can finally get out there and clean it. I try to clean it a few times a year, but it's not like a regular part of our weekly routine. Both bathrooms need to be clean. Nene is going to do that for us with Gabe, right? Mm -hmm. He's going to do a great job. Um, mine and Chad's room needs to be clean. My laundry has exploded all over the room again. We've been out of town for a whole week and I haven't done any of it and it's like, busy season at work because we have a greenhouse there and it's been crazy busy. Um, yeah, I'm not having done very much laundry. Um, then um, we need to paint the downstairs bathroom. I know that seems like ridiculous. Like you're like, why do you have to paint for a home study? But um, there is some water damage in there and it looks like it could be mold, but we know it's not mold. And I just don't want it to leave it to chance that like we have to do a mold study. So we decided to clean that whole room up and um, get it cleaned up for the home study so that um, that that situation is taken care of before the home study so we don't have any weird things happen like that to prevent that because if it needed to be done anyways we just got it done already so we need to child proof the sinks because we got a new kitchen and we have not put those child safety locks on there we needed to do it for foster care but we just never got it done um we had it done in our old kitchen but now our new kitchen is remodeled we need to get child proof sinks on there um for some reason, all the medicine like is all over the house. We need to collect it all in one place and put it in a lock box um, so that it's safe. And I need to go through it. So for some reason, it just like there's some outdated medicine and stuff like that. I need to go through that. Um, we need half the outlet covers are on and the other half went missing. I don't know where they are, so I have to figure that out. Um, yeah, so that's like the bulk of the home study of things we need to do. Not a huge amount of stuff. I don't have to have a bed set up for the home study, they said, yet. Um, we do have one if we get a girl in Jenny's room already. And then if we get a boy, we'll um, just get a bed for the boy's room. Um, uh, my sister had a suggestion actually to do like a loft bed in there above like some of their Legos so they can keep their Legos in there so it's more space. So I thought that was a really good idea. I think we'll probably go with that. Um, and there'll probably only be like, if we get a boy, it'll probably only be three boys in that room for a very short season because our son is gonna be a junior next year. And by the time Augustine, yeah. So he's gonna graduate from high school in um, the year 2022 so that's crazy so it won't be for very long if so 
I like our graduation. You like your graduation? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, follow us along. We're doing some home study prep. Um, hopefully we can get some of the events filmed, but sometimes I things just happen. You need to get it done and we can't, don't have time to pull out the camera and film it. So just know that that's what's going on and that's the, hopefully the list of things we can do. We need to do it before Sunday and it's Tuesday now. Okay, do you need something to say? Do you want to say something? What are you going to say? This is for YouTube. You want to say hi to the YouTube friends? Hi. Hi. Are you having a good day? Hi, camera. Hi, camera. <laughs> yes, we're just talking to a camera. We're not talking to anyone else. All right. Well, we'll follow along with us. Okay, I have some good news. I found the fire extinguisher. My son found it. He knew where it was, and I didn't know where it was. So there you go. We're ready to go. Oh, yeah. Hopefully never have to use this thing. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna put it underneath the sink. It's gonna be good. Okay, also you have to see this gorgeous plant my aunt got for us, um, cut for Chad's dad that passed away. Isn't that beautiful? It's in the same family as a pineapple tree, which is really cool. Um, and just flowers. And then these are all cards from our friends and family. Um, yeah, we just felt so loved and showered um, from this experience. and. People know how to love well, but isn't that gorgeous? Holy cow. Hi! Are you having fun? Not that. Look at these good cleaner boys cleaning the bathroom. This is the bathroom that we're painting, so we already had the ceiling painted. Um, we just need to clean the rest of it, though. So there it is. We're gonna paint it white. How exciting. White. But it's already white. White is the new black. <laughs> So me and Chad were just talking and it's a funny story. Um, I thought it was funny, so I wanna share it with you guys. Um, so one of our kids like stole a rag out of another person's hand and they were just kind of being jerks to each other. And that's just like, you know, whatever. And <laughs> kids do crazy stuff, so we're just dealing with that a little bit. It's fine, you know, it's fine. It's just normal stuff. And um, so I was like, well, you know what we did when we were kids? Like um, my sister would make a whole sandwich like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or whatever and she went to go put the stuff away the bread and the peanut butter and stuff away and i would come into the kitchen and i'd lick the sandwich i'd be like thanks for the sandwich sister so anyway sorry jessica and trisha sorry guys for that um but you guys did that to me too so it's just the way we were we were just jerks to each other and one time i remember like breaking a plate over another sister it's like head or knee or something. It was just rough. So we used to just torture each other because we were just all like about the same age. So, I mean, I think our kids are doing okay. You know, they do things that are mean, but like we're, we're parenting them through all those things just like my mom did for us. And I know Chad did some crazy stuff too. Like he like tied his sister up to a tree or something. No. Yes. Maybe. Yes, see? She asked for it. She literally asked for it. She literally asked for she it. She said, I can get out. And she didn't. So, anyways, that We're story like was brought up over <laughs> this weekend. Here. Anyways, it's funny. So, yeah, that's like what's happening. I wanted to give you guys a little cool update. So, um, over here we have some cool stuff happening on our fridge. Let me show you here. So we have some like different things. This is how much we paid so far for our adoption. About about five thousand um, dollars to this point. And then over here is. We're doing this system that whoever has donated money to us, I need to cross this one off because a friend just gave us $50, um, which is super nice. Um, we cross off all the X's of how much they've given to us. So we have like have about $250 of, of thing, money that people have given to us. Um, so that's really cool. And then we come over here and we put them in these envelopes and they're marked by dollars. And so that's what we're doing. We're just collecting them. I just want to keep track and um, basically I'm trying to avoid to use this money until it's the $12,000 fee. Um, and that's honestly the most intimidating fee for me. And then if we get all these filled out, we'll have about $11,000. So <laughs> I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, well, maybe if we can just save all the money people are giving to us so that when the time comes, we'll have that $12,000. Um, even if we have half of it, that'd be so cool. Like, I'd be so excited about that. So, um, yeah, we're getting excited. That's all for China adoption. Um, yeah, and also, 
So we had some really good news this morning. Um, speaking of finances, um, it's called Open Heart um, Grant. We applied for it through our agency. Our agency actually signed us up for it, which is really cool. Um, and we got it this morning. So we got a $1,000 grant. Yay! Isn't that cool? It was super cool. We were so excited. I feel like a million bucks. It feels like a million dollars, but it's a thousand dollars. It's so, <laughs> so exciting. Um, and so that's gonna go straight towards our fees. They send it to the agency. Um, and our next fee is due here at the end of the home study, which is in about a month, less than a month, probably like three weeks now. It's gonna be three thousand dollars. So now it's only gonna be two thousand dollars. So we're excited about that. That's a big deal. So we're pumped. Anyways, I need to stop gabbing and I need to get my laundry done. You guys all know how much I hate laundry, but we're gonna go get it done right now. So here we go. Yes, you gonna help me do my laundry? Oh, I forgot about this, Chad. What? Oh well, it's not gonna happen. About what? The hole in the wall up here. Yeah. This is access to our plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> We're Wait, not gonna worry about it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Put, uh, Some putty yeah. there or something? Yeah. You think so? We could do that. Yeah. It just seems like a lot of work, right? If it dries, it turns into a rock. It turns into a rock? Yeah. And cool. we can Look put at some... that cutie. He's cute. He's grumpy face. Okay, it's fine. Sometimes I have grumpy faces too. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right, you coming with them? All right, and this is where we're at again. A million, billion gallons of laundry again. I don't know why it happens to me every time. Because Jenny's helping. More laundry there. Chad's laundry. Laundry, laundry everywhere. The closet's not too bad. Working on it. So, not bad. Okay, so we got distracted and Jenny found my veil. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful girl. <laughs> Do you like it? It's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> is it creepy? <laughs> she said it's nice because it has sparkles, which is sweet. You're so cute! You're acting goofy, little monkey. Then you put your veil over your head. And then your husband's going to come and kiss you. Like that. Yeah? Being a monkey, a monkey bride. Sounds all right. All right, let's do laundry, yeah? Hi! Make a bed? Whoa, well, that looks, looks good. Looks good. Looks good. So good. I don't really know what that's for. What's that? Can't believe that. I think you can actually connect it to power and then have the battery as a backup, but I think it also works as this. Can you test it? Woo! That was really loud. But you can get to the battery easily. Good. Oh, that looks nice. Seven dollars and fifty cents, well spent. So I'm gonna throw this away. Okay, so sounds like a plan. Good job, Chad. Thank you. you. Here's my hero. He's gonna put the mattress back on the bed. We need to get a new mattress for it, actually. Yeah. You're using this box spring with this little mattress thing on it. It works, but good job, Gabe. But we need a pillow. So strong. I don't know if it's gonna work if you get in it. Maybe. Then it goes in there. There you go. Okay. It goes out, and then it goes in. Now it's nice and comfy for some reason. You just gotta make it at some point. We have to have a pillow. Good job. Yeah, it's, it's comfortable. Good sensory issue. Ah, oh, you okay, baby girl? <laughs> you realize I farted? Ew. Ew. It stinks. It stinks. It stinks. <laughs> Alright, you guys want to end the video with me? Come here. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, everybody. <laughs> that's me, that time. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, 
that is all that we're gonna do tonight. I thought we did a lot. <laughs> Woo! Kind of smells in here. Okay. That's all. <laughs> Jenny thinks it's funny. This is life. Okay. <laughs> all right. I hope um everybody's having the best day ever and we um got a lot done tonight. We got the smoke detectors done. We got the fire extinguisher done. We got a whole bunch of stuff done. So you got some rooms done. We got the bathrooms cleaned. Um. <coughs> <laughs> stinky in here all right anyways um yeah so that's what we did and um we'll see you guys after the home study we'll let you know how that all went down and what they were looking for we need to do two um visits with this person um Katie, what? Katie, no. yeah but to do two visits with this person and then we'll be done so i'm sorry if that was super confusing there's kids in my ear i don't know if i said everything i needed to say but um yeah we'll see you guys next time you guys say bye bye, bye.